Good evening. Tonight we are going to discuss the goddess in Wicca. Wiccans view the goddess as everything. She is the consort of the god. She is the earth, the water, and the moon. She has been seen in many different forms and called by many different names. Her many and varied appearances allow any and all Wiccans to connect to her in whatever way they feel is most appropriate. This allows for an intense and personal connection with this aspect of the divine. The goddess is nature itself. She is the source of all wisdom and fertility for all living things. Wiccans often see her as having three aspects, the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Sometimes she will be personified as four aspects instead to mirror the four aspects of the god. These four aspects are the maiden, the warrior, the mother, and the crone. These aspects correspond to the phases of the moon. She is the waxing moon as the maiden, or as the maiden and the warrior both, young, strong, and vibrant, ready to learn, and eager for exploration. She is the full moon as the mother, loving, nurturing, ready to catch us when we fall, and at the very height of her power. She is also the waning moon as the crone, wise in all ways, willing to guide us and advise us, and guarding the gates of death. The goddess has many facets. She is all that is nature, so she is both the violent hurricane that destroys life and the gentle spring rain that gives life. She is the bright green and yellow fields in summer and the frost-covered ground in winter. Her gift is life, but it comes with a price at the very end, and that price is death. In Wicca, however, death is not oblivion at all, but instead a rest from the toils of physical existence and a chance to prepare for the next incarnation, whatever that incarnation may be. Even though the goddess is possessed of both light and dark, much as we all are, Wiccans worship the side of her that is love, fertility, and abundance. Her darker side is certainly acknowledged, but not often worked with directly. Just as with all gods and goddesses, the goddess has many different names and titles, and many different forms. In addition to the triple goddess, she is also commonly known as the Queen of Heaven, the Mother of the Gods, the Great Mother, and by many other titles. She is present in all pantheons and has gone by many different names at many different points in history. She is Diana, Isis, Bridget, Hera, Hecate, and Donna, and these are only a few examples. The symbols associated with her include silver, both the metal and the color, the moon, the cauldron, and the chalice, and those items associated with water, such as seashells, pearls, and the like. She is associated with the earth, the sea, and the moon, and some of her creatures include the cat, dolphin, spider, horse, and rabbit. No matter how she is seen or what is connected with her, she is eternal. The goddess has an integral place in Wiccan spirituality. Her various aspects and faucets serve to facilitate a connection with her, for it is in her versatility that her greatest strength and appeal can be found. She is seen as an ever-present and ever-watching mother the very essence of nature, and the reason for all life. That's all for this week. Next week we will talk about the God in Wicca and his place in Wiccan cosmology. Blessed be.